I'm gonna tell you about a hack that I did that literally got me one inquiry before credit card applications got submitted. And what happened was I decided to apply for four credit cards at one time. And as I applied for them, I said, well, let me see if I actually apply all at one time what happens. So I found out what all credit card companies, that's for Equifax, what all credit card companies go for uh, reports for experience, what all credit card companies report to TransUnion, and so on and so forth. And when I figured those out, I lined all of them up at one time. And once I line all of them up at one time, I have four here, four here, four here, four here. And then I just click, enter, 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 enter. And I went straight down the row. And as I got approved for all the cards, some of them I didn't get approved for, for some technical reason. I call up the bank and I say, hey, every bank has something called the reconsideration line. I called up, I say, yo, I got approved for this company, this company, this company, this company. Is it any chance that you can approve me for your company? I would rather do business with your company than their company. Can you approve me? I got approved at American Express for a hundred thousand dollars. Can you be the match that? And I'll give you more business than them. Nine times out of 10, they say yes. If not, you hang up, you call back, you get somebody else. And you run that over and over again until you get your answer, which is yes. Because remember this, no is just a temporary yes. And if you stay persistent, it'll take away resistance. So be persistent in everything that you do. It's got not only gonna help you, but it's gonna stop all those inquiries from going on your credit at one time. Another thing to do to build credit is one, keeping the utilization down, but also, like I said, keeping those inquiries down at the same time. So a lot of times people start building credit and they start building credit based on them having credit cards and trying to figure out how to build it. And everybody say 50% this, 50% this, but I say you gotta stay on the 10%. And credit cards are there to build your wealth. And when I say that, you have those credit cards and you let them stay under 10% and you put them on auto pay. You put it one time and you forget it. And you use those credit cards and you get little transaction, little payments and paying on time, little transaction, little payments, paying on time, and you start building this history. And then when you go get one credit card, let's say it's a Capital One, and then you go get another Capital One card, a venture card, and then you call Capital One, you say you got 5,000 here, you got 5,000 here, and you call them and you say, hey, I wanna put all of these on this Capital One card, and then you merge them, you consolidate them. Now you have one credit card with 10,000. Now, mind you, they wouldn't even give you those 10,000 before. But now, it shows that you can carry a balance of $10,000 on your credit card, so now other companies look at that and say, hey, he has a credit card with 10,000, let us match it. Is this making sense to you? So this is the greatest thing that you can do when it comes to credit. The next thing is an authorized user. You can tell your mom, Uncle Shirley, Uncle Bob, all of them that got that superb credit, that auntie, that grandma that ain't gonna ever touch her credit because she won an 800 credit score and she ain't gonna even buy nothing on it because she just wanted to stay perfect. But I got a realization for you right now. The aha moment, credit is used to make more money. I don't know not one billionaire that's not in debt. The goal is to figure out how much debt can you get in. It's called good debt and bad debt. Good debt is something you can put money in that's gonna bring you money back. Bad debt is something that you put money in and it depreciates. A car is bad debt. Cause as soon as you drive it off the lot, it depreciates in value. Your iPhone is bad debt. You go get your iPhone, you try to sell it back. You'll be lucky if they give you one fourth of what you paid for. Maybe a half. Think about that. Bad debt. You invest in, let's say, in the education, self-education, a program, mentorship. Like that's good debt because that person is going to help you not only make that money back, but also more on top of that. So when you're going through all these credit card hacks and secrets, you need to have in mind how do you have good debt with those credit cards once you run up the balance. And when I say balance, I mean the amount of credit that you have. The next thing you can do is every six months, you have the right to call a bank 
and ask them for a credit line increase. So you wanna do that over and over and over again and for all of your credit cards. And you can see if they can put you on an automatic credit line increase and see if they can do that for you also. But there's certain credit card companies that will really help you out and take your credit to the next level. And some of those credit card companies are credit union because credit unions are owned by the people. So they're more likely to give you money more than the traditional banks. So if you're not in a credit union, go find yourself a credit union. Navy, Federal, I think it's Gold Coast, I think it's called. Like go find you a credit union because they will give you, they're begging to give you money right now. Go find you a credit union. Another thing you can do is you can have the bank match your money. You can literally go to a bank, deposit money into there, and then you can have them match your money for a loan. So you put a million dollars in there, you're gonna have them match your million dollars and give you a line of credit for that million dollars against your money that you have. Something else that will work really well for you, for people that wanna scale their businesses, people that don't have enough credit line, you can literally wire money in to your credit card to make your limit bigger. See, a lot of people don't know that. They're like, damn, I don't have enough credit. I gotta keep paying it down, keep paying it down. And you can tell them that too. Like, listen, I spend the money, pay it down, spend the money, pay it down, spend the money, pay it down, spend the money, pay it down. Let's say you had $10,000 and you did that 10 times in a month. You can call up the bank and say, hey, I just spent $100,000 on your car. I wanna spend even more money. I want it for marketing, but I'm not able to spend more money because I have to keep paying down the $10,000 every single time. So are you able to increase my limit for me? And another cheat code you guys can do using plastics.com. And with plastics.com, not only you can pay bills from it, you can pay your mortgage from it. You can pay a lot of things that you wouldn't usually be able to pay on a credit card with a credit card with this setup. But what you can do is you can take that and you can actually buy things on a credit card with plastics, remove the money off the car and put it into your bank account. And then you can do it over and over and over and over again. These are the things that people are doing all the time. And not only when you run the points up, the points is gonna help you travel for free, help you ride around for free, stay places for free. Like you can do whatever you want with these points because now you're taking that credit card and you turn it into cash when you use plastics or you use gift cards from the mall. Simon's gift cards. You can go, they give you up to $5,000 on one car, $500 on one car. And you go there and now you got it on the car. You swipe your credit card, you put it on the gift card. And then the gift card, you can liquidate. And now you run it up and you can make it happen for yourself. So tell me how you felt about the video below. These are some hacks that I teach my kids and teach them the game with the wealthy teach their kids. And I want to teach you. All my spectacular stars out there, a community that want to see people grow, learn, and tackle problems in the world. And we want wealth for our kids and our last name. And if that's you, tap in with me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let's go.